Now we all know creatine is a really, really useful supplement and obviously there's a lot of research back in it. Obviously it's used in, in uh, training to try and get more reps uh, and lift more load and this has been shown to be quite substantial on average in most people. Um, but there's an interesting thing that's happened more recently. Uh, a study by Close et al 2019 actually found that if you use creatine um, while you're immobilized, you actually lose less muscle and less strength than if you were immobilized without taking creatine. Which is really interesting because obviously the mechanism we believe behind creatine working comes down to the basis of the creatine phosphate cycle in the sense of more potential ATP usage within a cell. So that means more energy, therefore more ability to do more fast burst strength and power exercise. So lifting more load or doing more reps in a given short period of time. So obviously this kind of interestingly goes against the grain slightly in terms of what we believe and how it works in the sense of how does it work then if you're not training, if it's not giving you any more energy, you're not doing any more work, therefore where's the benefit? Well, obviously we don't really understand this, but we do know that it does work. So what this means, and it's very interesting, is not only is creatine really, really good and one of the best supplements that you can get with regards to training, but it's also really good if you're injured or if you're immobilized or, or anything along them lines. So obviously if someone is injured, um, then it's very advisable to take creatine as a supplement. It's advisable anyway, but obviously advisable in that case. Not to mention obviously some of the other elements, which is to do with cognitive function as well. So yeah, so obviously what I'd say is I would recommend um, to try creatine if you're injured. Um, use it anyway when you're training if you're doing strength and power kind of sport obviously there's less benefit if it's more endurance activity but obviously for atrophy wasting of muscle and obviously for losing strength or loss of uh, loss of strength we we want to use that for that as well so yeah and obviously there's other elements to do with higher protein intakes and so on and so forth but this is more about the creatine so yeah remember if you're injured get your creatine in and uh, hopefully that will help you to lose less muscle and lose less strength and therefore enable you to get back to sport or whatever it is you want to do quicker uh, after injury. So that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.